Uh, the Mantis system is unique uh, when compared to traditional camera systems. Traditional camera systems will have a limited field of view, say anywhere from maybe 50 degrees uh, down to one degree. Whereas the Mantis system provides both a thermal image and a visual image in a complete 360 degree panoramic image. And that image is updated once per second so it allows the user to have complete situational awareness, as if they had eyes in the back of their head. That 360 image is used as a detection device. So with that, we can pick up scene changes and alarm on those. So if somebody enters a given area, it gives us an alarm, and then it allows the werewolf camera system to slew to cue to give us identification of that human target. We can tell whether the intruder may be carrying a weapon, or it may be a human versus an animal or a vehicle. While they're assessing a target and looking at it, determining what it is, the Mantis camera is still spinning and giving them an updated image once a second. The Mantis can detect infinite targets, so whatever comes into that 360 degree field of view, as long as the camera has line of sight, it will detect anything that comes into that coverage. Via audible alarms, they're displayed both on the panoramic image, on the top view map uh, that's on the interface, allowing the user to look in multiple places to determine location of the alarm. So they always have a visual reference of what the alarm is, and then the top view map allows them to see where the alarm is located. Typical end user for a system like this can be uh, either military or commercial. And the military side, forward operating bases, uh, forward operating uh, air bases, areas where uh, they're on the front lines and they need to secure a perimeter. It's also used for detecting UAVs. So we can uh, put it in uh, wide vertical fields of view to include the horizon or higher, and again, allowing UAV detection and then slew to cue of the assessment camera to identify that target. On the commercial side, anything that's critical infrastructure, so uh, airports, seaports, petrochemical plants, nuclear power plants, any other commercial critical infrastructure that would require large areas of coverage, uh, that they want to minimize their infrastructure cost by eliminating the need to put up dozens of cameras where they could put up one or two of these cameras and cover the same area.